The Wings to Fly scholarship selection began soon after the results 2016 Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exam results were released on the 1st of December 2016. A countrywide appeal for bright, bad needy scholars to collect forms to apply for the support was put out across Kenya. The Wings to Fly program, we offer a comprehensive high school scholarship to lead the people in the 316 Kenya Certificate of Primary Education. The selection proper began with a shortlisting of the applicants by community scholars selection boards. The applicants and the guardians turned up in their numbers for interviews at hundreds of centers across the country. It is early morning at the lakeside city of Kisumu. Fishermen are readying their nets for the day's work. Across town, the applicants are gathering for interviews by the Community Scholarship Selection Board, CSSB. Among the Wings to Fly applicants is Beatrice Atieno, who attained 366 marks in the 2016 Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exams. Her mother, Caroline Aching, is widowed and not in a condition to fend for her family from the mere income she receives from selling vegetables at a wasi market. <laughs> The needy circumstances forces Beatrice and her brother to take up the chores at home to help the mother, including tilling the land for sustenance. Beatrice has consistently done well in primary school, endearing herself for support by her teachers. Beatrice has been admitted to St. Albert's Girls High School, Ulanda, where she hopes to study hard to launch herself for a career in the media. According to me, because I have languages, so I have a news reporter. It's the beginning of another beautiful day in Shirula village in Kakamega County, where community scholarship selection board members make their way to the home of Derek Shikuku. They are here for a home verification visit for the Wings to Fly scholarship applicant. Derek takes care of her ailing grandmother, taking up chores her mother would, but is away in faraway Nairobi where she works as a house help. Circumstances have forced young Derek to become the handyman now accustomed to maintaining the household shelter and tilling the land for food. The dire situation at home persuaded Derek to apply for the Wings to Fly scholarship program after attaining 399 marks in the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exam. I was able to study at I was to be a doctor. I was able to do this work to help my family and to help my family and to help my family. Poverty is particularly biting in the upper reaches of Kwale County, where residents depend on grass to thatch their shelters. Admittedly, the roofs cannot hold for long. This is a circumstance that Mary Kadi was born into, with a disability that curtails her movement. The girl, whose name means beautiful, is determined to work hard to improve the circumstances of her family. I school at Voice and Jude Educational Centre. And when I was there, I worked very hard. I studied day in, day out because I knew that was the only thing I could succeed in life. Kadi scored 392 marks in the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exams. The Wings to Fly Community Scholarship Selection Board, sitting in voice, set off for a home verification visit to Kadi's home in Shaurimoyo some 40 kilometers off the Mombasa Road at Samburu Market. Kadi is a third born of a family of 11. 
six of her siblings sleep in the one room where she shares the only bed with three of them. When I, I get the scholarship, I'll study hard and I'll not let anyone down because if you are being helped and you don't do well, even themselves will not be happy. Dear Kisoma at an additional Katika Schule, at a Shamesa Wanzaki, and at an Jinga Nyumba. Terrain and route to Naikara location, Narok West, is reminiscent of the life of hardship that Julius Olanana has lived for the past 17 years. Olanana was born without legs and has faced stigma and rejection since birth. Olanana is the last born among nine siblings and the only one from his family to have attended school. Mama yangu hawezi kuni sponsor kwa sababu hana uwezo. Na ndugu zangu hata pia nao hana uwezo. Despite being in a school that had no special facilities for persons with disabilities, Olanana managed to attain 357 marks in his Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exams, becoming eligible for the Wings to Fly scholarship application. Having secured the scholarship, Olanana is now optimistic that he will take his academic pursuits to the highest level possible. Nikimaliza hayo masoma yangu, nikweja nirudi nyumbani niwasaidia familia. After kuwasaidia familia nisaidia our village and also the Kenyans. Deep in the slums of Huruma in Nairobi is Mariam Wanjiro's home. Hi Mariana. This is Mariana. Hi, I'm Anjali. Nice to meet you. Mariam shares the single room with her sister and their father, who is a reformed street child. I started street life when I realized that my mother had nothing to give us. But nobody can be helping you every time. Instead of taking this plastic and sell them and take drugs, I decided to put it as a job now. Then we came here, so I studied very hard. I want to become a doctor. My dream is to go to other countries, to study there so that I can get more information. And then when I, I, I come back, I will go to the streets and also help the other street children so that they can also get from that kind of life because it's, it's not a good life out there. Always have faith in God. If you have dreams, they will definitely come true. If one door is closed, some other door will definitely be open for you. I think if without this scholarship, probably their dream would have been destroyed here, stopped here. But with this scholarship, we will help them to really kind of realize their dream. I think it's a tremendous opportunity for children. I was really struck by the interview process. I imagine the applicants are incredibly accomplished, so it was very nice to see that and, and also get the impression of just how competitive a process it is. For the next four years, we will determine how far you're going to fly. They say the sky is the limit, but I want to say to you today, the sky is not the limit. These are but a few of the 1,700 scholars who have secured the Wings to Fly program scholarships from across the country. With the selection process done, the beneficiaries are ready to join their colleagues at a three days assembly in Nairobi, after which they will join their respective schools to begin nurturing their hopes for better days for themselves and their families. This program, Wings to Fly, when we started 2009, it was a dream. It was a dream that started with thinking, maybe we can come together and provide an opportunity for a few hundred young men and young women. What started as a dream to educate a few hundred is now educating more than 10,000. And soon it will educate 20,000. Those who have should remember those who are not as equally privileged. Nobody was ever born to be miserable and poor. It is opportunities that sometimes are not easily available. So all that we do by giving back is to give others opportunities. Mm -hmm.